Next question. This is not a question I was expecting. Um, but I did say, ask me anything. So how do you work out? How do you work out? Work out what? I guess you're talking about physical exertion. How do I work out? Well, the thing is I live in a forest. I have, we have no help here whatsoever. And I need to be very, very, very physical. in order to get stuff done. So it's not really a question of me driving to a gym and lifting weights and running on a treadmill. It's a question of me getting up at uh, 5.30, taking this bear for an hour long walk. 45 minutes to an hour, which is generally like a jog slash hike off road. Like it's very rough through the woods. And that's really good for you, I think, to not just walk and hike on trails, but uh, run off road. So I like that. That's what I do before I have breakfast. Then um, what do I do after that? Like if it varies day to day. I don't do any kind of gym stuff. I do have some free weights in my in my hut, but I don't really use them because I'm normally lifting a lot of wood. Uh, and this is very weird for people to hear, but a lot of my time is tied up in the management of wood. I like being outdoors far more than I like being indoors. Maybe that's why I'm filming this outdoors in uh, late September, but Finding a tree, felling a tree, slicing up a tree into kind of manageable trunks that I can lift and haul, chopping those into logs. Stacking the logs. Letting them season for a year or two. Hauling logs into the house. That's a lot of lifting every day. It's a lot of lifting every day. And it's not lifting like on a flat gym surface. It's lifting on uneven rocks and moss covered slippery rocks. And in ditches and hollows. And pulling a birch tree from a quarter of a mile away. You know, over, over granite uh, boulders. That's a best exercise you can get because your everything is your whole body is contorting for you not to fall over with this you know 50 kilogram birch trunk slice on your shoulder so you're using your core so much because you're twisting and you're traversing not to fall over so <laughs> that's what i do i do a lot of that um also i, I do a lot of um wheelbarrow work wheelbarrows full of rocks and gravel to fill in the holes because our track which is behind here is about um, two kilometers long and it's full of potholes
and it's uh, rough as hell. And in the winter, you know, the snow and the ice and the enormous amount of rain in the autumn time means it's full of holes. And I have to get out there with my barrow and my shovel and fill them. So that's a lot of walking back and forth. And yeah, I could get a tractor, but then I would need to go to the gym. So I just barrow. I barrow and shovel and dig. I clear my ditches with a rake and with a shovel. That's really back breaking work as well. Digging out the mud. We've got about, I don't know, 800 meters of deep ditches that I need to maintain. So if you combine all of that and and then yeah, I take him for a lunchtime walk for maybe half an hour, 40 minutes. And then in the evening, I take him for a walk uh, for about 45 minutes, put him to bed. I built him a big dog house and dog run with like a fully insulated dog house with, with a good roof. And it's got about 40 centimeters of roof insulation, wall insulation, underground insulation. So it's nice and toasty for him. I put him in there and then I go into my, my tool cabin and there I do some, cause that's, I treat that as a warm up, that walk. And then I do about half an hour of weights in there with kettlebells and a tree trunk again. And yeah, that's it. So no gym, no machines or any of that stuff. Do press ups and pull ups sometimes, but no supplements or creatine. I can't stand the thought of that kind of thing. I just like to uh, just move in the woods, move outdoors. Uh, <laughs> I hope that has answered your question. Do you work out? Yes and no. Like, no, I don't work out in terms of like doing CrossFit yoga or anything like that but yes I do work out as in I'm outdoors between four and 12 hours a day doing stuff in the forest maintaining our land and rebuilding things and lifting things so I hope that answers your question thank you